One of the things that happened a lot in the Pakistan earthquake and in other natural disasters I've been involved in is members of the international media would come up to you and say, oh, you haven't fed this village or you haven't fed that village as an attack, you know, looking for the, the line. And we had a strategy in the Pakistan earthquake. I mean, 76,000 kilometres of, of territory is a lot of ground. So the strategy we had with aid was start high and far and finish low and close. That is, find the furthest, most remote village, and that's the one that gets the first food delivery. So when journalists started coming to us and saying, we've found a village, it's only five kilometres down the road, and they've got no food yet. Why? Our response was, because they're only five kilometres down the road. But instead of confronting the journalist, we would say, but this is our strategy, high and far, low and close, but what you can do for us is fine, keep doing what you're doing. Find those villages that haven't been fed yet. Bring us the information and we can explain why they haven't or if we didn't know and you've found something we didn't know about, then we can put that on the agenda. So by that way, rather than creating a confrontational arrangement with the media, we created a relationship of partnership where we empowered them as being part of the solution. You are part of my information gathering mechanism. And if you find the village that hasn't got the food that I didn't know about, you will be responsible for getting them fed. So it, it was a great way of taking a potential hindrance and making it an ally.